So guys, Steve Cook, we got a workout video for you guys today. We're in the beautiful Maldives at the Cocoon Resort. So before we jump into this workout, I wanna show you guys how we got here because it was absolutely insane. We flew from Dubai where we'd been for 23 days and that's where we pick up on. So check it out. I'll meet you guys right back here. I'm gonna get my pre-workout in, actually my pump product in and uh, do a little bit of stretching. So check out that intro to see how we got here to the beautiful Cocoon. resort we're looking forward to even a better time so slept last night here woke up and playing in the sun today checking out the island it's a small island we have here there's about a thousand islands in the Maldives and about 250 we heard are inhabited so we're not on a huge island here it is it is very intimate it's a great great location to come and just relax and work out so we're out here today we're gonna be doing a calisthenic workout so a lot of times on the road, it's difficult to get good workouts. Now, Cocoon does have a, uh, a normal hotel gym, but they also have this outdoor gym. And I thought, why not work out? It's hot, it's humid, we're gonna get a great sweat, but also staying in shape. Calisthenics, the biggest difference between calisthenics and CrossFit. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, you've seen me do collabs with CrossFit, you've seen me do collabs with even the Bar Star guys, which are calisthenics. They do a lot of stuff that's more isolated movements. Not everything's done for time. In fact, really nothing's done for time. Whereas CrossFit's seeing how many reps you can get, AMRAPs and things like that. So this one's gonna be calisthenics, which is a lot of body weight stuff. We're gonna be doing pull-ups, push-ups, L-sit, dips. We're gonna be doing some air squats. So some of the similar movements you'd get, but the reason I love it is because we can work on muscular endurance as well as strength. So when you're 210, 220 pounds, that's your body weight. That's what you're gonna be using. You are the weights when you're doing calisthenics. So it's really fun. Um, I'm gonna get a quick warm up in some, some jump rope. I'm also gonna smash some culture pump. I got the watermelon flavor. I've been bringing it with me everywhere. I just die for it. So I'm gonna get some, cup, some culture pump and then we're gonna jump into this workout. Let's warm up and get after it. My jump rope on this trip. Jump rope is, uh, you jump rope for five straight minutes. Don't even have to do double unders. You just jump rope for five straight minutes, you'll break a sweat. Even when it's not 85 degrees out with 100% humidity. So I feel like it's one of the funnest ways for me to, to warm up, get a little extra cardio in. So I've been trying to jump rope a little bit every single day, trying to work on my double unders. I don't know how well it'll go out here with the sand. Jump rope will make you breathe hard. <sighs> Time to jump into the calisthenics workout. Guys, I know by him saying I'm a calisthenics expert, expert um, I'm a bodybuilder doing some calisthenics stuff while I'm on vacation, trying to stay in shape. So if you guys ever come across the hotel gym or outdoor gym, give this workout a go. First exercise we have, 
we're gonna be doing a circuit here pretty much. So the reason I'm doing a circuit is because on vacation you got a limited amount of time. We got dinner, we got beach volleyball, we got activities. I got, I got an hour here max. So I've warmed up, did my jump rope. Now I'm gonna be doing my circuit training. The first exercise is gonna be muscle ups. We got five of these. If you can't do a muscle up, do a pull up. If you can't do a pull up, but you can do a chin up, they're slightly easier, do a chin up. If you can't do that, do a assisted, maybe a jumping pull up. But whatever you do, make sure if you're just learning how to do these right, that we are controlling it on that pull up side of things. Um, once you can get 10 or so, then you can start looking at maybe doing a muscle up progression. With the muscle up, I'm gonna be using some momentum to swing forward, get my hips coming forward. As I come back, my arms are straight, I'm going into that hollow position. And as my arms are straight here, my hips start going towards the bar, a little bit momentum and a little bit me pushing them towards the bar. And then I'm gonna use that momentum to get my shoulders around, press myself up. I know that's probably a lame, a lame definition of a muscle up. Um, it's a little bit easier to demonstrate. So we got five of these. Then we have 50 push-ups. Just your basic push-ups. I'm actually gonna go feet elevated, 50 air squats, 50 dips, and then we have some other exercises we're gonna be doing. So right now, be jumping into it, that circuit. Take five to 10 seconds in between exercises, but move your way through that circuit. Here we go, first things first, muscle ups. Oh. That bar. It's absolutely brutal for muscle ups. It's really thick and it's really slippery. Thanks, Beth, you got 50. I'm gonna go 50 of these here. You can even break it up if you need to. Biggest thing with push ups. I'm gonna be going down, trying to use as much chest as I can on these. Going to use more shoulder. I flare out my arms a little bit wider. It's gonna use more interior delt. I don't wanna do that. I wanna use chest, I'm gonna use triceps, shoulder width apart, going down to at least 90, coming all the way out just short of lockout. Ooh. Oh, look who we have. Look who decided to, to join. All right, next up we got air squats. So we got 50 air squats. Again, moving through at a quick pace, nice thing. We're working on muscular endurance here. And also, when I do a lot of body weight stuff, I feel like my range of motion gets better because we're not just heavy weight, shortening, shortening, shortening. Really concentrate on getting down all the way up and really doing multiple sets or multiple, doing a lot higher reps. might not seem a lot because there's not weight but you get your 220 up and down 50 times legs are gonna be burned a little bit so we got dips we did have our squats in between our chest exercise and this dip exercise which will primarily be some triceps a little bit of anterior delt and some chest in there so it's gonna probably need to be broken up two three sets probably three sets here we got 50 of them hitting 90 degrees. I'm gonna grab a little bit of a breather. The humidity here is so intense. Since Morgan's here now, we'll ask her, why'd you go with the split shaker? Oh, because it's got a pre and a post side. How many times do you use the pre and the post side together, you think? Zero. Zero. But I don't drink, I'm not a massive fan of protein. Yeah. But you, you would. You know who is? So pre. I like protein. I know you like protein Look. too. Look, 
14 ounces, 12 ounces, 22 Babe, ounces. How many ounces would you say these are right now? About 55. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. Set number two. exercise all right next up we're dropping the rep range to 15 so we got burpees 15 burpees building up that muscular endurance that cardio capacity 15 burpees and then we got 15 l-sit pull-ups on the rings sit pull-ups before our final movement before taking off on our 30 second run so again incorporating a little bit of everything here I'm already lightheaded it might be because of how hot it is here so these L sits really gonna test not only ab muscles but your hip flexors your psoas um, obviously back biceps with the pull-ups so keep as rigid as possible do as many as you can if you can't do pull-ups we talked about this you can't do the L sit just do normal pull-ups do chin-ups do even an inverted row, which is gonna be right here. Just whatever you can, modify things as need be. We're gonna to try to get as many as we can. My weak point is my hip flexors, my psoas, um, so my legs will probably drop before I get to 15. My quads start cramping. As you can tell, I'm not really a calisthenics guy, but I always like trying new things. Suck at something, get better. I feel like everything might turn out just all right. I know I'm lying to myself, part of my wishful thinking. Still fly from head to trinkets, afraid of blinking, can't even miss a second of the blessings. I'm living messy, like every minute is a gift, it's a pleasure. Let's get together, let's spin us a smooth forever. Wait, pick up your mood, I know I lack the direction. Skip on class and like guys, I watched it. Trying to get it last together. YouTube video with Mike T in Dubai, go check it out. If you like your, if you like your bodybuilding stuff, your arm days, that's the one for you. All right, not gonna lie, we're supposed to do toast to bar because my hands are sweaty, my knees are weak, my arms are heavy. Oh, there's vomit on my t-shirt already, mom spaghetti. Uh, I can't hold on to it, so we're gonna just do knee tucks here, holding into that position. So a lot of calisthenics, they do holds. So you gotta only be strong, not even throughout the range of motion, but in certain holds, plank and things like that. Again, I'm nowhere near the closest I've done calisthenics is my collaboration with Bar Stars, but always like getting better at things. And this is what we got out here today. So, one, two, three, four, five, nine, eight, four, nine, eight, four. Woo. Done with round one. We got one last, one last thing. And that's our run portion. We're gonna run to the beach here. Might as well. Wanna feel the sand between my toes. Should have taken these off long ago. Let's go. All right, run back in. Three minute rest. Another round of this.
working out for today. Two, three rounds of that. I only did two. We've been going kind of all day. Stand up paddleboard, having lots of fun. We're about to go play some volleyball. We got a family here from France. They got four boys. They're all like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, so it's going to be me, Alec, Morgan, and maybe a guy that works here. Not going to lie, we're probably going to get absolutely destroyed. But we're going to see what my whoop score is for the day. Because it should be insanely high with all of the work I've been doing. Just constantly moving. Oh, and all this place is just, it's heaven. I never really thought I'd ever come to the Maldives just because it's like on the other side of the world from the U.S. Funny thing is, too, it's exactly... 12 hours from where I live in Utah. So 12 a.m. is 12 p.m. and vice versa. Makes calling home a little bit tricky, but 